We will here show a test that can confirm or deny a bone injury of the hip bone. The first contact point is under the zips of the patient and the other hand is holding and making a compression of the uh, anterior spinae. I make a gradual pressure and observe the patient if he feel any pain. Then I move my lower hand to the tuberous ischiatical and I make a diagonal pressure. Again, the pressure should be built up gradually. After then, I move my upper hand to the ramus os pubis, and the area is probably normally very sensitive, and therefore the compression must only be made from the underside. After the direct compression test, we make a more indirect test where we flex and outer rotate the hip and then we make a compression through femoris into carpal femoris and then we stress or we make stress on the acetabulum and therefore this test is more commonly for the hip. The last test that we perform is by beating on the heel. This test is done on the stretch leg, thereby we provide a direct shock up in the hip. After this indirect test, you can press and release directly into the area where you suspect the bone is damaged. You can also use a 127 Hz tuning fork. If there is a direct bone, tenderness and 3 out of 5 indirect test is positive, there is a suspicion of a bone lesions. Thank you.